Uh, right. Jalen, uh, what, what's it feel like being back after going through that decision and, and all the time you spent thinking about it and, and now you're here and it's on? It was great. Uh, you know, I miss Lawrence. Uh, it was a great process. Got to learn a lot uh, about myself and about the season. And, uh, you know, I'm just really excited for this this new year we have, especially coming off how we finished last year. You know, it's going to be really well. Did you ever think you'd test twice and return twice? I mean, a lot of guys don't do that, right? Yeah, no, no. Uh, I didn't think so, you know. Probably like, what was it, June 1st was the day. Probably like a week before, I, uh, you know, I was really leaning towards, you know, going on. And, uh, you know, I just kind of had like a thought to myself at night, just on what's best for me, you know. And obviously the NBA is my dream and goal, but I think what was best for me was coming back and just, you know, reestablishing a lot of different things. Um, I think personally, with the way the year went, it was a, you know obviously the greatest year I could ask for. But I just really just want a complete year of just you know good basketball and stuff like that. And I feel like you know me starting off the year so slow last year kind of hindered some things. So just being able to get off to a good start and, and you know have a full season, what I really want for myself. Yeah, I, this goes back a little bit, but but how disappointed are you when you don't get a combine invite originally? I mean, I know you played your way into it, but yeah. Did that hit you hard? I mean, especially after last year, same thing. I mean, it, how, how do you respond to that? And, and, and was it a disappointment? Uh, I mean, kind of kind of not. I mean, I'm, I'm used, so used to yeah. adversity as, as of y'all seen throughout these last three years. Uh, nothing's really just been handed to me. I knew that I was going to have to go and earn that. Even with winning the championship, I knew that I was still going to be overlooked. And I felt like that was the best thing for me was getting out to showcase, you know, how hard I've been working on my shooting and stuff like that. And I feel like I played well there. And, you know, just this guy, it's a lot of political games. And, you know, I feel like, you know, now coming back this year, I'll have the political side on my side this year, uh, I hope. And, you know, being able to carry carry that through the season. For you during the process of talking to those teams and doing the workouts, what were some of the things they said that, hey, Jalen, would like to see you work on this or this is something you really excel in right now? Uh, the biggest thing was just shooting. I mean, my numbers last year weren't that good, um, especially from the three-point line. Uh, you know, they were all for the defense, rebound and stuff like that. It was really just shooting. So I focused on that all season uh, or all summer. And, you know, I went to these workouts and showed them and, and they saw that's why the decision took so long because it was I was getting good feedback. But, you know, at the end of the day, I knew what was what was best. Which teams did you end up either working out for or just meeting with? Uh, I mean, yeah, probably every team met with. Uh, and I probably worked out for like what Spurs, Knicks, Nets, Milwaukee. Um, Milwaukee twice, actually. I uh, hope I'm not leaving nobody out. I think so. That's it. You said you were leaning one way. What thing? I was I was leaning on you know the NBA. Just obviously just going from a good combine. My G League was really good, and I thought that was gonna be able to carry it on. But um, you know, I figured that being able to come back and, and be a good leader and stuff like that, and, and have a good good year like we did last year would. Uh, kind of help my, you know, maybe I don't have to go to the G League combine, you know, first and go straight to the combine and, and go from there, so. You, you've seen examples, not just Ochai, but but in the past too, yeah. Devontae comes back and yeah. has a big year. It's his team, all mm -hmm. that. Did that factor in at all for you? Of course, I mean, my biggest thing was just patience. You know, uh, if you look at all the guys that, you know, were on our team last year, a lot of them was their third, fourth year playing. And uh, that was only my second year playing, if you look at it as far as being like my red shirt year, so. You know, I just looked at, I mean, Ochai excelled at the, after his fourth year, CB excelled after his third year. And, you know, I feel like with this being my third year, I'm running around the same pace. It's just, you know, still learning and stuff like that and just being patient, not rushing the process. Cause I mean, I don't know why you'd ever want to rush a place like this. I mean, it was, it was it's really special, especially with being on the court. I mean, uh, I remember playing against Texas and I was like, you know, not knowing, you know, NBA or not. I'm like, man, I don't know if this is my last game. Like, it's crazy just feeling that the love from everybody and like, you know, I just don't, I, you can't rush a place like this. You know, it's once in a lifetime to play in a place where everyone's here to watch and love you. You know, you get to the NBA, it's people just there just to go to the games, you know, but here people care. So that was a big part of it. Where, where do you want to take your game? You talked about the shooting already, mm -hmm. but but obviously a lot of what worked during your run to the title was you getting downhill and, yeah. and being physical with yeah. guys. I mean, where, where does your game go from here? Uh, obviously never, never switch away from that. That's just, you know, how I play and especially at the NBA level, you know, you're never going to walk into a place where they just hand you the ball and tell you to go, hey, go lead our team. I mean, even if a guy like a guy like Ocha who completely did everything, you know, first in my American, even guys like that had to find a role just to start off. You know, it's rare that guys just get handed the ball 
and you know just just to go be the leader so just having a role and knowing what i do best and not not getting away from that and just polishing up on things you know always gonna be a better shooter better rebounder better defender always those things but i really want to focus this year on just communicating being a good leader uh because you know the next class is always going to learn from from the older guys and i just want to be the best example that i can be what do you think of bill self saying you could be an all-american i agree i mean i'm very confident in my game especially with you know, everyone who's in college basketball this year, I feel like we have a really good chance to win. I feel like everyone on this team has has a special place and, you know, I'm confident in myself and thankful that my coach is confident in me as well. Kevin talked about his relationship with you. I guess, can you walk us through kind of the timeline of you two talking more as the season ended and kind of how you guys talked throughout his decision process? Yeah, I mean, we met throughout high school playing basketball against each other. Um, playing video games, stay connected, social media and stuff like that. And when he told me he was transferring, he called me, said he had a Zoom with Coach Self and everything went well. And I, I was like, man, that'd be crazy. I mean, especially with, you know, how my mind was as far as going back or not and knowing that, you know, he's here. That's a huge piece, huge transfer. Um, and with the guys we have now, like, there'd be no reason why we couldn't contend for another championship. So I just, you know, once he made that move and I knew in my heart what I want to do, I just, you know, started getting things going, started talking to guys and letting them know, like, how serious this is and also how fast it goes by. Cause I mean, I still remember playing in New Orleans like, like it was yesterday. And it's like, the fact that we're already talking about a new season is crazy. So just, just being able to do that. Not many guys get that opportunity to come yeah. back and, and defend one just because you don't win it every year, yeah. right? So where have you kind of polished up your, your knowledge of what it will take, not just to get back there, but to, to be a leader with that target and and just different circumstances like that? Uh, I think the biggest thing probably I learned last year was just how hard it is. Like, I mean, you saw it from the second round of Creighton. I mean, we're down, coming back, down, coming back. I mean, that's just the second round. I mean, first weekend, coach always talks about getting out of the first weekend, second weekend, making it to the third. And, you know, just getting these guys to understand that, you know, it's never going to be easy. I mean, being down 15 in a championship game is, is insane, but it happens. And you just got to be prepared for that. And, you know, a lot of times, uh, freshmen or new guys that are not used to Kansas coach self. Like, man, these practices are hard, this, isn't that. But when you get into the game, it's like we've already seen this before. You know, I don't think there was one time where we really got rattled in the tournament. I mean, we may have got out of character, but never just to where we just flat out just don't look like ourselves. Besides, championship game was pushing a little bit, I'd say for sure. But uh, I mean, we found a way to come back, you know, it's basketball. So just knowing the ups and downs and how hard it is. And, you know, that's why you just got to buy into what coach is saying. And, you know, understand that he knows what he's talking about, obviously. So. Have you given much thought to what it's going to be like, feel like? I mean, Mitch, CB, Oach, yeah. Dave, those are all your guys yeah. that you've yeah. been here with for a yeah. long time. And mm -hmm. you look around and practice, and, and next season, none of them will be yeah. out there. Have, have you thought much about that? Has it felt weird yet? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, seeing that the class I kind of came in with is gone, uh, except for Juan um, and Jank, of course. You know, it's always, always something new. but. I also look at it as a new opportunity to kind of like leave my mark on this school, this new team. I mean, these are going to be guys that are going to be the next, oh, CB, Dave, Remy, Jalen, like these are going to be the next ones. And it's like to be able to kind of show them, you know, hey, this is how we do it here. This is what we're used to doing. It's kind of special to me. You know, I want to, I want to lead the school as, as a guy that did a lot of different things and, you know, helped out the next people, not just worry about myself. So being able to be a leader like that is really important. How long have you been in Lawrence? Uh, like three days. I think this is my third day. Yesterday is my first practice, so yeah. Where will Oach and CB be picked, and what do you think of their games? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping. I'm hoping both. I believe they're both first round. First round. I mean, Oach obviously. I mean, had one of the best careers or years I've ever seen, and uh, I mean, CB showed that he can do pretty much everything. So it's like. I don't see how you pick 30 guys over them too. You always watch the draft growing up and mm -hmm. since you've been here? Yeah, yeah, I always, I always watch it just to, you know, motivate myself, um, especially this one, seeing my closest friends there. I'm, I'm so happy for them um, and just proud that I was able to help them, you know, get there and be a part of their story to, to get there. So I'm, I'm, I'm super psyched to watch them. What do you think that'll feel like? I mean, you know those guys pretty well. Yeah. We've watched a lot of guys it's get special. drafted I mean, and you didn't I know, still right? remember, still remember me and CB coming into school together and it's, it's just crazy to, to to be able to watch them, you know, grow throughout the years. And, you know, I just told them I'll be there soon. So just, just give me some time and, and I'll be there with them. But I'm, I'm super excited because it's it's what everyone dreams about. I mean, winning a championship is really special, but that first dream is always the NBA. So to be able to have both, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool in one year. So. What do you think of coach praising you for the play where Dave scored 
you did a smart thing getting one of their bigs away from the hoop. Mm -hmm. What happened on that play? The the last one, right? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, obviously Dave was being a beast the whole game. Um, and I, I was going to cut to lay the ball up as well, but uh, I kind of saw in his eyes that he, was, he wasn't passing the ball. So I was like, you know, <laughs> let me move somewhere, maybe get a rebound or something like that. And, you know, I think when I cut, you just out of just, it's conscious you got to look back at a dude cutting behind you just out of, you know, and, you know, I did that and, and uh, he kind of stepped back a little and Dave was able to jump over and shoot on me. It's hard guarding him one on one to pay, so it was pretty easy after that. Coach said last week that if you'd stayed in, you you would have been drafted, he thinks. Mm -hmm. Do you think that? Yeah, yeah. For sure. But I also, I'm not going to settle. Like, I feel like I'm better than, than, than the year I had, obviously. Uh, like I said, I want to have a full year, just, you know, good basketball, good leadership, and stuff like that. So. I wasn't gonna settle. I mean, I'm pretty sure Oshka got drafted last year if you if you would have stayed in, but that's not the point. It's to be in the best position for yourself and just not rush the process. I mean, it is a process. You know, it's it's a long process, hard process, but it's supposed to be. Is there something a team could have told you that would have made you stay in? I mean, I pretty much heard everything I wanted to hear. It was just on the fact of what I wanted to do. I mean, obviously, I'm pretty sure somebody would have paid me like like he said, and but like I said, it's. It's really not based off them. It's just based on if I'm ready, if I want to go there and take that next step. And, you know, if I feel like what I've shown in the last two seasons is enough in my standard, really. So, What do you think of this roster? I think it's really good. I mean, if you look at the young guys, you look at the guys that were already here with us last year, I think it's a lot of a potential. I mean, it reminds me a lot of my class when I came in as a freshman. I mean, just long wings that can do different things and really versatile. So, I mean, I see really good, good things ahead. Else? Are you excited about your latest commercial? Do I have a commercial? What commercial? On the teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, the smile is going to be big this year. Uh, <laughs> I figured that, you know, with me uh, coming back, I wanted to get a good smile because I'm going to be smiling all year. So, you know, I figured why not have it at, the, at its peak. So. <laughs> Thanks, Junior.